technology comes at a cost within 6 to 7 years we will have something we may be able to reach hypersonic speed talk about weapon systems uh, cost becomes a very big factor uh, technology comes at a cost so we may be able to reach hypersonic speeds but will we be able to produce at a cost which is affordable for the induction and the numbers which are required so right now the technology bricks are being created we will look into the production costs in the future but it's first the technology bricks as i said design should be producible so it has to be a design which is done in such a way both our partners are working on it and moment they have the technology brick in place we just put the motor and put it together a timeline would be too early right now but i would say within within 6 to 7 years we will have something indigenization is required for the country and I, uh, more of the indigenization only increases the strength of the country and of course the industry but don't forget we are a joint venture so we need to keep working with our joint venture partner there is a small business sense which you do but then how does that happen that comes by going into some something forward uh, going forward we are going to look at some more exciting versions of the missile the next generation is uh, the most important we are looking at Uh, with the ion exports of course you know every country over the world has been asking us can we buy brahmos right since 2001 when we did our first flight trial uh, we have had to of course cater to the requirements of the indian armed forces first now that we have a little bit of spare capacity and uh, capability of exporting of course with the uh, support and the policies of the uh, indian government uh, we have backed our first order in 2022 we are in the process of executing that this has only opened the door now we are in conversation with over a dozen countries uh, which ones when well that time will tell but we have opened the door and uh, they are going to come in